Ugh, I gotta put the music or some music on. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Cat Morgan here. I just realized my desktop audio is not playing. Uno momento. That's a little loud. How's that for you guys? Hopefully it's okay. Everybody, uh, welcome to oh jeez, cat food. Hi, kitties. Um, I'm just hanging out tonight. I got nothing better to do right now, so I thought let's play a game. Not really. I'm just gonna do some building. It's fun. All right. Uh, so, long story short, my fiance got this. It's a Christmas gift this past year. And it's the U Gears Mechanical Models. And this one's like a cool hexa something something. It's a lot like Legos. Um, I have a lot of Legos that I already build. So, this one's very advanced, and I'm kind of excited to build it. It's made out of MDF completely, and it uses a um, rotary spring to design things. And I already started. I, I will be completely honest here. I started, and here's the base. And I'm going to continue to build this and see how far we get. Um, I'm just pulling everything out for now. Oh, your degrees in mechatronics? That's pretty awesome, dude. Thanks for chatting. Um, my degree is actually in mechanical engineering, so I think this will be really fun. Um, yeah, I studied mechanical engineering at the University of Minnesota, and welcome, by the way, first time chatter. Um, and I studied at the University of Minnesota, and um, yeah, I use my mechanical engineering degree. I work in like screen filtration. Uh, it's pretty much my job. Um, I do a lot of design there right now, so it's, it's a ton of fun, and I have experience in other advanced models as well here. So that's pretty cool. Welcome. And if you're interested, here's the... I think these are called linear springs. Um, you can see it's all kind of coiled up in the middle here. Which is pretty neat. Uh, this is a lot of potential energy. These are really dangerous. So please be careful. Don't injure yourself. This is unsafe. But glad you're here. Glad you're hanging out. Hopefully the music is okay. I'm trying to make sure it's not too loud because that would suck. I'll turn it down just a little bit. It's meant to be more like chatty music, more than just like background noise. Well, welcome, Kessex, Kestux, Kestux39. Is that, am I saying that right? Oh, dude, that's really cool. I love that. At Purdue. I did not go there. Um, I was born and raised here in Minnesota, so I just went to the U because I was really good at engineering school, and then I just kind of went from there. Um, so we're going to attempt to build this. Not sure if you're familiar here with uh, what this is kind of made out of here, but 
you can see here it's all MDF laser cut, which is pretty neat. Um, and I'm just going to work. There's like hundreds of pieces here. I'm not kidding. This is a little ridiculous here. But we're going to see how far I get tonight. This is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I can pop out a couple pieces here. It comes with this little tool, actually. Which is pretty neat. Um, so the tool helps just kind of pop things out because, as we all know, MDF, I think this is MDF, it's, it's a just really flimsy wood, so if we're not careful, it'll break. And that sucks. So, we don't want to break it. Um, like I said before, this is kind of where I started here. I cut out a couple of these pieces here and just kind of popped them in here. There's no glue required for this type of modeling here. Um, it's all just friction and you just kind of pop it in here. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I thought that was really cool. So I'm just gonna set that to the side here, and I gotta grab my instructions for this. One second. I don't remember where those are. Up oh, here they are. So I don't know, my screen's a little, my camera's a little small for this, but we're gonna try our best to show you what step we're on. Um, I might just put this like right here-ish. And, and describe to my best ability what we're doing here. Um, yeah, so we cut out the base here, uh, and then popped all these little bits on here. That was step four. Yes. Is there tape? Is that what this says? Wait a minute. Wow, these instructions are already a little goofy. Hang on, does this come with tape? Oh, I get, oh, it's, is that sandpaper? Ooh, D okay, that was really hard to explain, but it comes with some sandpaper here too. Um, and in the instruction, this is gonna be really difficult to see and explain, but essentially it wants you to sandpaper like these inside pieces. Uh, if they don't fit, or am I just sanding down this entire piece? Probably just sanding down this entire piece. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll do that, I guess, and just, uh, I guess, uh, we'll go from there. I'll pull this out of the way. There's too much stuff on my desk. Holy smokes. Eh. Put that right there. Do I have to sand this down? Instructions unclear. Check position. Yeah, I know I did. Check positions of the part. Sand down the inner part. I'm just going to gently do that here. Maybe where the rotation occurs. Oh, yeah, dude, that is really true. Thanks for pointing that out. Because, yeah, this is like the center base here, and I'm assuming we're going to build straight up. Um, so I guess we don't want any friction there because that would really suck. And we want to make sure that that stays pretty clear here. So I'm just going to sand this down just a little bit. I don't want to go nuts because I only have one piece of this. There are a couple spares in this box, um, but not the base. And we don't want to break that. That would suck. So. If you're allowed to tell me, what part of the defense industry do you work in? Or is that top secret? this out of the way and I set down another thing oh there it is so I wanted piece number four oh, okay so number four are these little pieces Ugh, focus camera these pieces along the edge here that I'm just gonna pop out try to show you what I'm doing here because I could just gently maybe pop them out Oh yeah, these are a little bit bigger. There's some really tiny pieces on here though, so I'm kind of worried about what's gonna happen if I'm not careful. There we go. All right, well that was pretty easy. We'll squeeze this out of the way. Put this back. Naval stuff involving U.S. destroyers, submarines, and other stuff. Don't want to get too specific as a good boy where I work and never. Yep, fair enough. I, I don't blame you. Um, a couple times in my past, my dad had some Department of Defense contracts, so he wasn't able to talk too much about, you know, what he did. 
Uh, so I totally get that. Well, I hope you're enjoying what you do. Um, I hope it's really fun. Um, my job is a lot more simpler than that. Most of my job revolves around, like I said, we build screens for food processing, oil and gas, really high level. It's just stainless steel screens. Um, but it's pretty cool because we are doing a lot of creative things with that and expanding into those, into that um, area. Let's see. All right, we needed to put these down on the bottom. So, just showing you here, I'm just going to pop these in. Everything is like friction. So I just kind of like gently. Come on. I wonder what the tolerancing is on this. Okay. Career job or a resume questioner? Uh, it's a career job. I spent my time previously working at a major windows and doors company. Um, I saw so I graduated college 2021. Um, just after COVID, actually, or when COVID was happening. So I already had, I've been, what is this, two two years? One year out of school, one and a half years out of school now. Um, and I, I like what I do. The company's really nice. It's a small company, which I love. Um, my previous company, there was a little bit uh, too much bureaucratic red tape for my liking. Um, so it was really frustrating for me just to be an engineer and, like, solve problems. Um, so I'm really happy with my current job. Um, it's a lot more chill. It's like my... It's a small company. It's my boss, myself, and one other person right now. And we're looking at expanding the department, but for now that's just what it is. And it's really fun. Most of my job is right now just mocking up CAD models and Inventor. And then I'm playing around a lot with iLogic because a lot of our company is uh, custom products or custom designs because we just get all sorts of different customers. So part of my job is to automate the uh, design process for our, um, our salespeople so that when our customers say, hey, I want this, you know, system can you build it for me we just you know pop everything into inventor say here's your model and then build it from there um so that's my current project it's kind of automation kind of programming um kind of product design i'm doing all sorts of things right now um but it's pretty fun i like it all right so we did that number five I gotta sand that down. About to rub this with a candle. Interesting. They didn't tell me I needed wax. I mean, I have candles lying around, thankfully. Because I like a good candle every now and again. Wait, did I miss an instruction? No, that's right. That's on the bottom. This is this is the bottom. There we go. Uh, let's see. Rub. Yeah, it just says wax the part with a regular candle. Alrighty. Um, well, let me find exactly what part we're looking for first. Uh, it's these kind of long doodads. Is it on number two? Is that what that's saying? So, there's like... If this helps in the complexity of what I'm building, there's like five sheets here. There's part... Like, or er, four sheets. One, two, and then three... And then four. So I have to like search, and they're kind of labeled with the numbers, but I don't know where the. Where's number two? Hello. This is pretty complex, and I've never built one of these before, so we're gonna see what happens. Oh, yeah. I'm not that old. I actually just turned 24, so I just went straight to college. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually pretty young. I graduated high school in 2017, if that helps date me a little bit. But yeah, I'm only 24 years old. Uh, where's the parts that I need? Excuse me? I sound older? Yeah, I get that a lot. Whenever people get on the phone with me, they're like, how old are you? And I'm and they're like, you must be 30. I'm like, no, I'm 24. I'm young. Where's the parts? What the heck? I'm so confused. Sorry, I'm looking at these off screen. It's just easier that way. <laughs> what are these? Number five. Oh, here they are. I'm just going to have the wrong one. 
I have to work with these pieces right here. And then there's more on this side, but I guess it doesn't whoop, doesn't really matter, these long pieces here. So we're going to try to pop these out gently. Wait, are these the right pieces? Now I'm suddenly unsure. They said number five, but these don't have- these say number eleven on there, which has me a little nervous, <laughs> to be honest. I don't want to build this wrong. Obviously, this is going to take more than one stream to get this done, because there are a lot of my- oh, here it is. Let's look at the wrong piece. So, number five- eh, focus camera. You can do it. Number five is this little U-shaped piece here. Yeah. So we're just gonna pop that out. Oh, okay, this whole thing comes out. Well, that's neat. Nice, I'm glad you graduated in 2018. Um, yeah, I graduated then just a year before you, so a little, just a little older than you. Probably not by much, though. How do I... There, okay. I'm just being too gentle with this, man. I should just, like, really just break these open. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, so it is number 5 and then number 11. Oh, okay, wait, I, I misfollowed. So there's more to it here. Oh gosh, shiny paper. I'm not using the best camera, I will be totally honest here. It's just a cheap webcam, so if you don't see anything, my apologies, I'll do my best to explain it because that's what a good engineer should do, right? Um, so right up here we have this little U-shaped piece. Um, and we're going to wax it, and there's these little gear pieces that I'm going to have to kind of pop on the top and the bottom here. Um, and then I just kind of keep assembling this, and then we're going to put it on these bigger bracket pieces. So, that'll be pretty fun. Uh, so that's number five. And number six. I needed just one number six, it looks like, which is these little... I'll pop it out here and show you in a second. It's just this little circle bit. I think it's just going to go on the bottom just as a support piece for this eventual gear crank mechanism, I'm assuming. I gotta get some wax. Hang on. Actually, because... Not sure if you noticed... But I'm also into keyboards. This is a custom keyboard that I built. So I actually have some lubricate, lubricating grease. It's a little greasy and kind of gross. <laughs> I'm actually considering using this over wax because I don't have wax readily available. And that's kind of annoying. I would assume, I mean, I have a scented candle. <laughs> Make it all smell like strawberries, why don't we? Um... I'm going to try just one side with this lubricating grease and see if I can't just, like, see what this does. The worst that'll happen is that it makes this kind of icky, but, well, we're going to try it, right? Go for complicating things. Yeah. What does my dad do? He's a, uh... What does he do? He's a manufacturing engineer, which is why I wanted to get into engineering, was uh, his stuff with that. Um, but he graduated with his mechanical engineering degree as a non-traditional student. So when I was like 10 years old, my dad got his degree. Um, and now he works in glass manufacturing, actually. He works, it's hard to explain, in glass manufacturing, but he makes the products that are used on the glass making machines. It's really weird, he builds like the power supplies for it. I don't know exactly how it works, um, because I just, I never understood glass manufacturing. Um, but, yeah. So yeah, he's a, in glass manufacturing, yeah, glass manufacturing industry, and he works as a sales engineer. So he's constantly traveling all over the world trying to sell his products to other companies in the glass, industries. So, hopefully that answers your question about what he does exactly. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm just popping this piece here. This is going to be really hard to see, but there's a little lip that I'm just going to pop it into. 
Okay, would you believe it? The lubricating grease actually worked. That was really easy to fit on there and it wasn't too tight. That's pretty neat. All right, so we have that little piece there that I'm working on. Um, and then we have number seven, which is just another little circular piece like this. Oh yeah, I, I totally agree. If I wasn't, so I start, <laughs> when I started college, I was torn between two things, a chemical engineer or a um, mechanical engineer. And the reason I chose mechanical engineering was just the amount of things I could learn. I learned everything, as you know, from heat transfer, um, electronic components, um, chemistry, uh, manufacturing processes, you name it, I learned it uh, in college. And that just always made me really happy to do, like, to learn about, because I just liked learning. I just really liked not being tied down to one specific area of study. Um, and I always considered going back into manufacturing, which is why I kind of like my current job. It, um, like I said, I'm a product designer, but I'm doing a lot of time with it being such a small company. I'm constantly on the shop floor um, supervising the production and, you know, making sure my prototypes are built to what I want. Like, I'm just straight up, like, man processing my prototypes and I don't, there's no middleman. I'm just out there doing it, which is, which is really fun. So, just kind of why I'm hanging out here and building this for y'all on a... Tuesday night because I got nothing better to do. Well, I mean, I could do other things, but I wanted to do this. Okay, so this is going to be hard to see again, but there's a little lip down here with a little dot. The dot's hard to see. And then I have this little U-shaped bit, and I'm just going to pop that on here. And uh, just underneath here. Come on. Watch me break it. I've been so careful to, like, I don't want to break this. It scare me. Come on. Yeah. Can do it. Hopefully the music isn't too loud out there. I try to make it more background music than, like, blast your ears out with music. Like, let's go, man. Come on. Peace. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more lube here. Who knew that keyboard switch lube would work on a wooden, press-fitted mechanical project? Not me. Sounds like a dream. Yeah. No, it really, really is. Like, my previous job, like I mentioned, there was too much bureaucratic red tape, and I was constantly having to justify to the higher-ups why we should do this thing, you know, a project, even though it would literally save the company thousands of dollars, and there was just so much pushback from that, that I'm like, I just want a different area. So I came back here. I actually interned at this place back in 2020 during COVID. Um, so that's pretty neat that they get to I get to hang out with everybody there again. Most of the people I worked with are still there, which is pretty cool. Um... And I like it. It's just the cool company culture. It's really relaxing. I can, you know, do what I want, be an engineer, and not uh, <laughs> have to deal with the with the sales team and, and, you know, trying to push my ideas through. And In fact, the sales team are just what's driving my job right now. They constantly come to me and are just like, hey, can you make this thing for us? And I'm just like, sure, I guess. I got nothing better to do. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a very, very creative job which I love. All right, we're looking for part number eight now, which is gonna be a little hook mechanism. Oh yeah, here it is. I'm gonna pop it out here. Sorry, I'm not showing you all the pieces. There's like hundreds of them on these little boards, so I'll just show you them to you one at a time as I pop them out very, very carefully. So there's this little um, hook mechanism here that is gonna just get hooked onto this. I think this is the start of like a crank mechanism because this thing is eventually gonna look like, like a walking Where's the picture? I'll flip it back to the beginning here. It looks like this. It's really complicated. <laughs> and the complexity, like I said, my dad got it for my fiance last year. And then my fiance is like, oh, this is too complicated for me. So I said, I'll do it. And lo and behold, here we are to me finally building this. I don't have a northern state accent. Oh, see, that's the thing. All right, everybody's like, I am born and raised in Minnesota, 
and Fargo just, like, destroys everybody's understanding of the accent. I grew up in southern Minnesota, so maybe my accent isn't so strong. You'll hear it in a couple of my bits of vernacular. Um, I like to say oofta. I say ope a lot if I mess up. Um, stuff like that. I... I'm trying to think. What's the most Minnesotan thing? Uh, I like to make a good tater tot hot dish every now and again, You don't you know? Um, <laughs> that That's, like, as thick as it gets. Um... I don't know. It's not super northern, I know, but people say I do. If you go down, like, I've gone down south before, and people are like, you're from Minnesota, aren't you? And I'm like, I guess I am. I don't hear it. <laughs> but yeah, I say you betcha. Or I say, oh, geez. I don't curse too often. I, I use other words, oh, or, geez, or what else do I say? Um... Rice and beans, cheese and rice, something like that. It's just some goofy, goofy things. Oh, I say duck, duck, goose. Not duck, duck, goose. This is duck, duck, gray duck, okay? Uh, no matter what people tell me from other states, I always grew up playing duck, duck, gray duck. And it actually, I don't remember the exact tweet about it, but it is a direct translation. Gray duck is a Swedish translation, and a lot of people who uh, hung out in Minnesota and, uh, you know, founded it are from the north northern countries of Europe. So, yes, it is Duck Duck Grey Duck. If anybody tells me it's Duck Duck Goose, it is wrong, and I am right, and I will always believe in it. Uh, wait, where am I hooking this on to? Uh, hold the phone. Oh, I think it's another... Got it. I needed another hook. I didn't mean to get so hyped up about my Minnesota accent there. Sorry about that. It's just something I get passionate about in really weird and uncomfortable situations, you know? Okay, this is right. So, sorry, I'm looking at the instructions and it's all glared out. Sorry, my lighting's really bad in here. Um... So I have this little piece here. I'm trying to see if it's another... I think it's just another uh, number six part. Because it, it's the hook, or like it's the cylindrical piece. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try it back against this one. There we go. Not sure how long I'm going to stream for tonight because I'm tired. Not tired, but like, I don't know. I still have to work tomorrow, so I gotta get some sleep. <laughs> or some semblance of sleep, you know? Alright. I'm gonna lube up. See, this is keyboard lubing stuff. Good to, Always good to have. I'm just lubing it up so it makes it somewhat easier. I could probably go a little nuts with the lube here. Because it's just helping it slide in there. That's what she said. Don't quote me on that. Uh... Let's see. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, so I took this piece. Oh, okay. And then I slide it on here. On top of that other piece. Oh, okay. sticks outward. Wait. Let's make sure I did this right. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up. Okay, and then it pops on here. Ah, okay. That's pretty neat. Okay. Got it. Okay, so it kind of sits flush. Not flush. Concentric with the other piece that we just put in here. So, we have this now. And then I take another pieces and I hook them on top. To lock it into place, because that makes sense. Did, 
Oh no, I dropped it. So we have this U-shaped piece that's gonna go on top. And then we had no, excuse me, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna go on top of the this little hooked piece here. I'm just gonna slide this in here. Come on. Oh gosh dang it. I knew I was gonna drop it again. Where'd it go? Oh there it is. It's all the way over here. One second. trying to gently pop this back on without breaking anything or having the piece go flying that would suck too all right I'm gonna try to lube this one up too makes my life easier sides also get some lubrication in here as well because there's some kind of sticking points here with it all being friction um, or like press fitted together makes it kind of obnoxious not obnoxious I just you gotta be really careful how you attach these pieces here there we go So that's pretty neat. We now have a moving mechanism with the stationary press fitted uh, hook on top here, or this little piece I just installed. And yeah, we got a hook on another piece. Another little circle bit. Part number 10. Like I said, there's no way I'm going to get this done all in one night. But I'll stream it multiple nights because this is kind of fun, actually. Lubing up the inside. You can never have too much lubrication. Actually, you can. But in this case, I'm not too worried about it. The lubrication is not... Um, I think it's a water-based. It's like grease or something. It's gonna... It'll dry over time. Alright. So we have this. Oh, okay. So I do this twice then. Because we have this one piece here, which is the entire assembly. This piece will freely rotate. The rest of this is just kind of squished on here, which is kind of nice. Um, but it looks like I do another one. So that's fun. I just gotta find it on my many boards here. the leftmost piece, I think. Got it. Okay. There's more of them on here. This bottom piece, and then I needed another number 10. I'm just pulling all my pieces together so I know what I need here. Eh. There's that piece, this piece. We're essentially building a second one of these, and then it's just going to be on the left side or left hand side. So I needed that one, that one. Needed the other U shape, which is number nine. And wait, did I need number nine? 
six, a five. Oh wait, I have to make three of these. Hang on. <laughs> oh boy, these instructions. Uh, so we're essentially building this final leg component. And so you run through everything, right? So you're building all this. And then it's like, oh yeah, you make three of these. Alrighty. Well, I'm just going to take my time with this. I'd rather take my time than, you know, mess it all up because that's no fun. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, I'm skimming the boards again here for my parts. So number five, you my number seven. Number seven is buried somewhere in here. Oh. Just another circle. It shouldn't be that difficult to find. There's a lot of parts though. Thankfully, of a lot of a lot of these are repeated, so it's pretty cool. Here it is is buried right here in the mix of all this other stuff on a random page or random part. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Oops. Well, we'll put that to the side. I needed... Where's number seven? I'm confused. Another circle. Still looking for this part. Oh, there's so many. This all look later. I don't think it's on this one. Oh, there they are. Yeah. All right. So we have part number five, seven, six. I guess I did need this eventually. Um, and then number 12. There it is. So I think the same thing, but it's just a left facing piece. Okay. So we have this, and then we make sure I and line everything up correctly. There we go. It clicked into place, that's promising. Alright, and then I take this little piece and we... Pop this in. Lining this up. Nope. 
Alright. Man. The engineering required to not only design the mechanism to make this, but to also, I mean, I know that's software for this nowadays, but plan out exactly how many parts you're going to need and how this is all printed out on these thin sheets of MDF. This is quite impressive, and I'm thoroughly enjoying this experience. Uh, let's see. We did that. I'm gonna take the left side. That's the question, do I put another one? Hang on, just looking at it. I'm assuming... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm just building a bunch of these. Makes sense. I needed this. So we did the U, and then we did this. Man, these instructions are a little goofy at times, not gonna lie. This one on. Right, so we're just building the same thing, it's just mirrored. Um, needed more number nines. So a whole bunch of them. Gosh. Should just pop out a bunch. But then I'm gonna risk losing them, and that's not fun either. Second. Hmm, okay. Uh, so 
we did that. Number eleven. Okay, maybe I should just build a bunch of these all at once, actually. That might be a better idea. So I need three of them anyway, so I already did one. This is part number two on the right hand side. And part number three. Also on the right hand side. I need one more of these. Six. We're gonna just build them all simultaneously, cause why not? It makes me makes me think. those and then I'm still just looking for where are the rest of the parts. I would think they would be near each other. I'm just not seeing them. Oh. Aha! So I was looking in the wrong spot. There we go. Alright. Now I can build two more of these and then we can put them all together and make something even cooler on here. So I'm just sliding this on. Like I said, this is all just kind of like friction together. Some of it requires wax. If it is too difficult, you don't want to break it, obviously. Um, yeah, so I just slid that on there. And then we slide this piece on here, on this top part, and just kind of slide this on. Oh no. There we go. Put this piece on. Let me take our right handed hook. Press fit this in here so it lines up. That one has some slap, interesting. And then we put you 
new shape and put this on top. Carefully, of course. We don't want anything to break. There we go. Alright. Now we got this. It still freely moves, but it is secure in place. Now no, it doesn't wobble off, hopefully, because that would suck. Alright. We're going to pop this top piece on. Okay. That's number two. Double check something. One of these is not put on correctly. Uh oh. It's okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, it's the one I just did. Okay, not a problem. Pop this off. Yeah, there's gonna be some mistakes here. I just leave it for now which I might do I'll do my other one and build it even slower <laughs> so I'm make sure I'm paying attention to this because it's kind of hard if you make a mistake all right I'm pop this on if you hear the kitty in the background pay no mind to her she just likes attention You brought me a mouse. So, <laughs> she didn't bring me an actual mouse. My cat has just a bunch of little baby, like, um, like crinkly toys laying around the house. And so sometimes when she's feeling really good, she will, hi, baby girl. She will meow and run around the house with a ball in her mouth until she finds either myself or my fiance and then, like, gives it to us. And it's very cute. So I appreciate the mouse. Thank you. She's looking at me so forlorn. She's just like, Mom, can you feed me? Even though she already has food. Alright, so right hand goes underneath. I already goofed on one of these, gosh dang it. We're gonna get somewhere, I promise. No! Too much force. Pop this on. So we have two of these that are correct and one of them's wrong because I goofed up. Wait, or did I goof up? Hang on. Yeah, yeah, I did because it goes top. It goes to the counterclockwise. There's those. Did I mess up on this one then? I did. Or, mm, actually, we're gonna do a goofy solution, right? So this is left. It says on there there's a little L, so it's backwards. Um, I'm just gonna pop this over here and make it the left and the make it a right-handed one, and then I'll take my backwards right-handed one and I'll put it on my other left-handed ones. Problem solved. See? Problem solving. That's what engineering is about: making my job easier and as least stressful as possible. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, all right, cool. So, uh, on to the next piece, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, I have to build six of these. So there are six. I'm gonna pop out one of these long boys. Very carefully, of course. Cool. So we have this little piece that we needed, and then this. It's just a sandpaper. It. Yeah, I guess. I'm sure this is for friction and making sure it's not too rough because this will be moving. It's a mechatronic. It moves. So I'm actually really excited to see how this is going to work because this is a, like I said, it's a lateral spring or a, what's sort there? Of, forgot the term for it. I think it's called a lateral spring. Um, but that stores a lot of potential energy in it, so, you know, thought it was cool. Um... Right-handed hook. And we just hook this in here, I guess. Come on. There we go. Cool. We built a leg. Alright, I need a two more of these. So problem solving. As long as I don't goof up my lefty um, components, we should be okay because those are little pieces are hard to get off, and I don't want to break them if I don't have to. Alrighty. Am goes this way. Pop this in. There we go. Alright, so now we do the other side, which are the technically left-handed ones. Uh, so I needed, looking at my pieces again. Three more. I, I'm assuming I'm going to build more of these, actually. Because there's still a whole boatload of these um, U-shaped pieces. So I have a feeling there's going to be more, probably to strengthen the entire component. So we have two of those. And two of the number nine U pieces. Come on. There we go. Ugh, oh, this is actually pretty relaxing. I'm, I'm finding myself really enjoying this. So I've got my two lefty bits, two of those, two of my U-shaped ones, two more number 10s, so U-shape, uh, and then number 6s it looks like. Yeah. Well, those are on here. We've got number 6, number 5, number 7, U shape. We just need the top locking bit. I guess I'll pull from here. It's like there's a bunch of like these number ten components, which are, I think they're supposed to just act as like stoppers. Um, just pop them on on the end bits. Also handy. This comes with this little tool, like I showed earlier. Um, so if it gets too difficult, you can just kind of use it to press in, just like that, and almost lose my piece. Um, so it's a nice way to help. Kittens. Oh, hi. Hey, buddy. Second cat is just chilling by me, too. I'm a little bummed because fiance is gone and they don't know what to do with themselves when dad's gone. Uh, let's see. This one on here.
think that's all the way on. Come on. It's about as tight as it needs to be. Maybe? Eh, it'll be fine. Alright, now I'm just gonna make sure I put the left-handed ones on correctly. So left... Goes the other way. Goes downwards. These pieces are definitely <laughs> a little tricky to get in. That's why this is so challenging. But a pretty good good build so far. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Let's see. Pop that in. I just realized why I'm having difficulty with this. This is not the right part. It's a little too big. Not a problem. We just. Are you okay, kitten? Why are you running around like that? There we go. Yay! Lubed help. Alright. This. I need the smaller ones. I was like, why are these not fitting on like correctly like last time? Well, yeah, because I had the two big parts. Too large. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's way easier. Once I get it lined up, of course. Get one, two, and I have one more to make right here. It should go pretty quickly now that I've got the hang of these little duty ads. So pop that on here. I just slid right in there. And then the top component. Yay! Alright. Getting there. We're doing so good. And I just need one more of these for the top. Cool. 
cool beans. All right. So we have these three components, and then we just take our long pieces right here. Yay, all right, now we're getting to some semi more interesting stuff. So essentially we're just gonna take these pieces and hook them on like we did the previous one. You just slide it in, line it up. Same with this piece here, you just pop it on here. Line it up. Third time's the charm. Pop this on. Yay, and we used the right one, which is pretty good, because <laughs> last time, uh, you know, we built it the incorrect way. So, we just won't tell anybody. It'll be okay. Alright, so now, ooh, okay. So now we're going to pop out another large component. It's going to be this piece right here. Actually, has a little coil symbol. Like I said, hard to see, bad camera here. But it's a little coil piece. So this is, I think, another part of the main base. All right, so we're gonna just sneak this piece out. I don't, I don't even know anymore exactly how this is gonna be designed. But yeah, you can see this little coil. I'm assuming the coil is just gonna sit in here. And we needed parts number 14 and 15, making sure we watch the edges. Wait. Yeah, two 14 pieces and four 15 pieces. Alright, so two number 14s. There's two 15s. Pop these out. So there's 15. Alright, so we got those. This is piece number 13 to number 15, so we need two more. Okay. Any more in here? I don't think so. Let's go back on number one. That's not it, that's number four. Two number 14s, okay. The 14s have this, um, like, angled edge on them, so I'm assuming that's just for holding the pieces together here. So this one has the angle there, versus number, number 15 is just completely flat. Um, and so we're taking these and we're just kind of putting them in the center circle right here. Um, so I'll make sure we get this right. Okay. So part number... Yeah, I know it's just to sand these down. I'll be fine. So we'll face it this way. Number 15 goes here. into place. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there we go. 
These are not going anywhere. Which is kind of intimidating, not gonna lie. Uh, This in. So we have these four pieces in. This one's curved. The last one is angled. Those are nice and sturdy inside of here. Last little bit is goes right here. Come on, it's almost in. did that at the expense of my thumb. Ow. <laughs> Alright. That was pretty entertaining. Alright. Uh, so we needed our lefty ones. Alright, so this gets flipped over. Alright, we're building the legs. I think. So these are... We'll start with the lefties. Left. Also left. Okay, so. Left bits. Sure, I get these right. And then we place them into the holes. just kind of set in here. I'm sure there's going to be another way to secure them in here at a later time. Those, and then we'll do the other side. Okay, these aren't very secure right now, but I'm just gonna try our darndest here. They're just kind of set in there right now. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Then we take... our previous component. Oh, okay, so yeah, we are just building these. So we take this other one that I built earlier that has these components on it, and I think we just line it up. It says that 
we line up this front face with these parts down here. So we're just gonna gingerly line this up. Are these supposed to go into the hole? Okay, yeah. Now I gotta be very careful and place this. Actually place all of these, well. Wow. stuck. What is stuck? <gasps> oh no. Oh wait, oh no, these are falling out. Idea. We put these in down here. Yeah, that'll that'll be better. Alright, we're gonna pop out the legs. Because this is gonna be really difficult to otherwise try to like press fit all this on here. So I'm gonna squeeze these in here. Okay. Where did the last little bit go? Did it fly off? Wait a minute. Oh, hey, buddy. Kitty just woke up from his nap, like the good boy he is. Hi, good boy. Uh. Where's my last little piece? I had one.
Sorry I've been talking much here. This has really got to focus in because I have to manage to squeeze all these pieces together while <laughs> having these legs just kind of sit. Like they all have to line up like perfectly and it's very obnoxious. Because it doesn't all line up. I don't want to risk breaking anything, you know? Because that would be lean. I wonder if I could pop up the legs just for now. Just squeeze these in. Let me get this right. Yeah. Small pieces go on the bottom. They don't actually like fit in here. Like there's still a lot of play. So trying to get this to line up correctly is actually just a smidge challenging. Because you want all of these pieces to line up correctly. Wait, hang on. Yeah, left goes on the front. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep trying to figure this out. Uh, left. I mean, left side doesn't make sense. Okay. So that goes there. I'm gonna try. This is actually kind of difficult to get these pieces to line up correctly, because there's just a lot of play. Like I said, these bigger pieces are moving around quite a bit. Alright, 
Attempt number two. Take this top piece. And our objective is to get it to play nicely with our bottom piece here. So I was genuinely not sure how I'm gonna get this. Okay, those pieces are all secure now. We should be good to go. So right now I'm just trying to line up the legs somewhat easier so then we should be able just to press down carefully of course Oh boy. This is mildly irritating. It's how I gotta press fit this top piece onto the lower piece and like snap it in together. But not everything is perfectly lined up. And so I'm worried if I put too much force on this, like, yeah, these are pretty sturdy pieces of wood, but, you know, they're not infallible. They're, they could definitely break, and that would suck. Because I worked really hard to get this t this piece already. Like, we, we're only in, like, the beginning steps of this book. Like, there's still, like, hundreds of more steps. But once we get the base going, it should be pretty smooth sailing. I'm just trying to line it up. So there's that. Just scrunch that. See if we can push this in to line it up a little bit more. this piece fell out. Right as I was trying to put everything together. Oh no, not another one. No. Don't want to end the stream like this. I want to at least put it together. But except I should really go to bed because I do have to get up early for work tomorrow. Ugh. I don't know. Line up, please. Please, for the love that is all things good, line up. Come on. We got it started, boys and girls. It started. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Make sure everything else is lined up before I try to squeeze this down too much. Okay, so I gotta go in here. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Squeeze that in there. Just squish that in. Get this corner. Okay, so we have one side down. Okay, that popped in. That's exciting. 
these parts are not popped in, so I have to kind of manipulate this bit a little bit. As long as, like, the legs are in, I'm pretty okay with whatever happens here. Okay, so we're just going to gently push that in. So we can't guide it in. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, we are getting there. So, I'm going to just press this in a little bit more. Squeeze. Gosh. Actually really exciting, but... I'm trying to be very careful. I know wood is strong, but this really hurts my fingers. I don't want to, like, shatter it, you know? Snap them all in. Are these all snapped in now? <sighs> Yo! I think they are! Dude, that's pretty neat! Alright. So I think I got the entire bit here. So you can see what I was essentially- Oh gosh. Focus camera. What I was trying to do was get these little pieces right here. These little brackets. And there was holes on each side that I had to line up exactly. And not gonna lie, that was pretty disgusting. That took way too long. Because you not only had these holes to line up on both sides of the piece, you also had all these legs that are just free moving right now. Which is kind of ridiculous, if, if I do say so myself. But actually, it's not even totally secure yet. It can secure it just a little bit more. I think, but right now what we have right here is pretty good. I'd say, because so, we got all these little doohickeys, and I still need to do some more brackets. There's some bracing that I need to install um, on these edges, but dang, I would say this looks like a pretty good start to a mechatronics uh, robot here that uses this, uh, like I said, this is the coolest part, is this um, linear, I think these are called linear springs. I don't remember exactly, but eh. Oh no. Um, I think those are called linear springs. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Yeah, these are called linear compression springs. Or... Yeah, flat steel springs is what this is. So there's just a crap ton of potential energy wound up in here. Oh, it is zip tied in there too. That's helpful. Gosh, could you imagine trying to mess with that? It's pretty, <laughs> pretty intense. Um, but I think I'm going to end the stream here. It is 10:30. It is actually kind of past my bedtime. I got to be up at like six. It's going to be an early morning for me. Um. But yeah, I hope you all had a great night tonight. Uh, it was really fun building this, the start of this for you. Like I said, I still have a crap ton of other instructions here. This is a pretty thick booklet. Um, so, and there's like at least a couple of, what did it say, 300 pieces in here? Um, yeah, it's a little cray cray. But um, I'm excited about what we have right here. You can see it's the start of this mechanism here. These are all gonna be able to walk eventually, which is really exciting. So, got a good base going here. Um, I might stream more of this tomorrow. We'll see where I'm at with what I'm going to do. But, yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic night. Thanks again so much for coming out. And I will see you on my next stream. Have a great night, everybody. Bye!